Welcome back to a new Atari review on my channel. This time, oh, this is some retro loving. I grew up uh, not necessarily reading Marvel comics as a kid, but obviously familiar with them through the animated series, uh, the stuff that's coming out in the 90s. <clears throat> and then, uh, a bit later on, the video games kind of expanded my love for the characters. It was only around kind of age eight in 1999 that I began to regularly buy Marvel comics. Prior to that, I'd gotten by on the Beano, uh, and as far as superhero stuff, it was like the occasional Spider-Man or Justice League or Batman um, annual, for example. That was my Marvel DC experience up to the other point. And then uh, the video games uh, came along and I started playing a bit more of them alongside getting into the comic books proper. One of my favourite Marvel-related video games was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. New Age of Heroes. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Do -do 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 -do. If, you, if you played the game at all, the moment I said the title, that menu music would have been playing in your head too. That game featured this Iron Man. The modular armour Iron Man. Who is also pretty much the exact same design as the 90s Iron Man. Iron Man series version of the character. I have a huge fondness for this design. I thought it was super cool as a kid. Now that I'm older, I'm a bit like, is it Hot Girl Summer? Why has he got? Why has he got under boob? Why is he? Why is he? Why is he showing off his? Why is he showing? Why is he showing off his abs? I mean, he's proud of them, even though they're sculpted. They're not earned. <laughs> and why is he wearing mama jeans to cover his hips? Come on, what's going on? Um, but. I've always had a fondness for this design. I've always loved it. So when I saw that the most recent um, Iron Man themed wave, the Ursa Major Builder Figure wave, um, which again, contains some great, great characters in there. Some that I would like to own. The Vault Guardsman's great. The Stealth Iron Man armor is a bit of a classic. Dark Star, she's a really great sculpt. Ironheart, I would love Ironheart. As of this recording, she's on my wish list. Link in the description. Um, the hologram Iron Man, I spent ages going, that looks kind of cool. What's that based on? The more I've looked at it, the more I've realised it seems to be the Captain America Civil War movie sculpt rendered in translucent plastic. So that's more of an MCU kind of bonus, I guess. And then a really cool classic version of Ultron, which is very, very cool. I'd like him too. Uh, and of course, you can build a uh, major. Now, I wasn't interested in collecting the wave at first, but when I spotted this guy, I added him to my wish list because it's one of my favourite designs for Iron Man, and I'd love to own him. And the wonderful Jazz B Plays picked it up for me for my wish list. So, Jazz, thank you so very, very much. Jazz B Plays, for those of you who don't know, is a Twitch streamer. She's wonderful. She's basically an expert at Beat Saber. I've never seen anybody smash Beat Saber so expertly as Jazz does. So thank you so much, Jazz, for the gifted Iron Man. I really do appreciate it. You're a star. Modular Iron Man. A dazzling technological achievement. The modular suit allows Tony Stark to reconfigure subsystems like boots, gloves, helmets, and scanners on the fly, as well as giving him an excuse to participate in Hot Girl Summer. Let's crack him open, see what he looks like. Do you remember the time we went hopping for our lives? Do you remember that? No. Never mind. Uh, so yes, articulation on Hot Girl Summer Iron Man. <laughs> so the ankle, the ankle joint is a lovely pivot side to side and a very, very stiff forward and backward. Be careful so as not to snap it because as usual the peg is always up here. So you don't want to snap anything. A wonderful boot swivel hidden in the sculpted boot. That is fantastic. That is seamless. Good work there, Hasbro. Uh, double knee joints, as is uh, sort of the average, the standard on these lovely, lovely figures nowadays. Uh, made even more um, wonderful by the fact that I thought, considering this is an Iron Man, and there's been many Iron Men made over the 10 plus years that Hasbro have had the license, I thought that this would be a reuse of some parts. Nope. The new pegless technology, uh, revealing that this is pretty much a new sculpt. Uh, swivel there at the top of the thigh, and the crotch goes out and up and down. Decent range of movement. So straighten that leg out there. Uh, he has a waist swivel. Hoo -ha! Which, I'll be honest, I do appreciate with Iron Man, because obviously with Iron Man, you kind of want him to be able to turning in mid-fly... Or, um, you know, turning around to blast a beam behind him, what have you. So I always appreciate a waist swivel on an Iron Man figure. He's got a rib crunch. As opposed to an ab crunch. <laughs> Decent range of movement there. 
Um, <clears throat> the wrist goes backwards and forwards and swivels around as a separate piece, so there's no need for articulation down here. He has, again, pegless double elbow joint, bit stiff, be gentle with him. Uh, swivels at the top of the arm of the bicep and tricep, the shoulder goes round and round, and again, careful, snaps downwards. Um, the head is on two uh, joints, the base of the neck does turn on one side you can see here sort of a, a throat so that's how you line up to the center and then the head itself is on a ball peg joint all a little stiff and i think that's the materials used in the plastic he's just a bit he's a little bit stiff so you gotta be you gotta be careful with him you gotta be careful not to snap him you know um Let's zoom into him. Naughty boy. There he is. Oh, he does look lovely, doesn't he? So again, the paint wash used gives everything a bit of a metallic sheen, except for the additional gold points that are on the boots, the knees, uh, the top of the thighs and the wrists. Uh, the rest of the gold is more of this yellowy gold wash. It is beautifully shiny, so you can fake reflective with that without it actually being reflective. Uh, look at the shiny butt. <laughs> uh, the face, the mask. Oh, look at that. So you've got the ridges on the top. You've got this slight, very slight uh, bit of paint just inside. Red and some red trim and black that gives it a nice bit of depth. So you can imagine this is a helmet. Like that face plate is there. And if you take it off, then there'll be like a lens thing, or whatever, and Tony's face underneath. Got things on the ears there. Um, the shine in the red is beautiful. I'll be honest, I know that this was the colour of the chest, but um, is it maybe it's a slight blue wash or even uh, an alternate chest piece. Maybe go full Marvel v Capcom and give it the uh, Unibeam and like make it so you could take that out and put a, a blast in it. So, speaking of blasts, we do have uh, some options for uh, in tactical aggression. He's got a hole in his palm. Why does he have a hole in his palm? With the clawed hands he has on the figure. Well, obviously, it's because you can give him the pulse arrays. You can have these stick in his palm, firing off at enemies. Nice blue translucent plastic. A bit deeper blue than the ones the MCU Iron Men come with. And I think these look better, actually, as a result. And then you've got the lovely fisticuffs you see here. Give you the option for him puncturing the living daylights out of some bad guy like the Mandarin or uh, uh, well, who's the 90s cartoon It'd be like Hypnosia or someone. Um, God, I wonder if I'll ever get a figure of that. Let's see what he looks like alongside some contemporaries. There we go, some proper Iron Man animated series, West Coast Avengers vibes. Nice. Um, I really like him. He is simple, he's straightforward, a bit more brawly of an Iron Man. I've not got a huge amount of the Hasbro uh, comic book Iron Man, to be fair. I've got a super early uh, Golden Age, not Golden Age, uh, Heroic Age one uh, from the Iron Man 3 figures. I've got the hologram one from the Shang-Chi figure wave, uh, which is sort of a classic Iron Man in, in really bright colours. Uh, and I've got the Guardians of the Galaxy Tony Stark, um, the spiky armour. So adding sort of Iron Man throughout the decades, I'm pretty happy with this. I think he looks gorgeous. A huge thanks once more to Jazz for buying me this figure. I really appreciate it. You're a star. If you want to supply for future reviews, you can head to the description down below. There's a link to my Amazon wishlist or my PayPal. As long as you let me know it's you who's bought it or give me a note as to what the money's toward, then I will give you a shout out in the video. Of course, you're under no obligation to do that. You can support me another way by just giving this video a thumbs up or commenting below, or sharing it if you think this is useful information for a friend of yours who's a collector. What do you think of the Iron Man? Modular armor figure. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you again soon. Iron Man! Iron Man! Iron Man! Oh, also, also, before I forget, how cool is this backing card? That's amazing, just look at that! Yeah, get out of the way, Iron Man. Look at the card. Look at the card.